One aspect that makes Pimani's lineup of Rhythm Games great is that a majority of his song lineups are original music commissioned by many talented musicians. Although it seems like Bimani employs hundreds of different musicians, in reality, it is a core group of about a few dozen or so artists that go under different aliases and produce different genres of music not normally made under their normal names. These artists have created iconic songs that have managed to reach popularity levels that extend beyond the Bimani community. Some examples include Red Zone and its many YTP MV edits, and Smooch with its many character edits. However, in today's video, I'd like to focus on one man that has stood out from other Bimani artists. He is one of the biggest contributors towards the success of Dance Dance Revolution and has made almost 300 songs under 73 different aliases during his career at Bimani. His name is Naoki Maeda. Beginning with some background, Naoki was born on April 28, 1969 in Osaka. Skipping way ahead, Naoki graduated from the Osaka University of Arts with a major in music. In 1995, Naoki would join Konami through what was called at the time its Amusement Machine Division to be the sound producer and help compose the vertical scrolling shooting up game called Twin B Yahoo. And in 1996, Naoki would also go on to help create Salamander 2, another scrolling shooter arcade game. After working on Salamander, Naoki would be recruited by Yoshihiko Ota, a game producer at KCET, also known as Konami Computer Entertainment of Tokyo, a former game development subsidiary of Konami. Yoshiko wanted Naoki to be the head music composer for his new rhythm game idea that eventually became to known as Dance Dance Revolution. On September 26, 1998, DDRs released arcades in Japan, and Naoki would debut under different aliases with his songs Make It Better as Mitsuo, Paranoia as 180, and Trip Machine as Desire. Shortly after its release, DDR started getting a lot of attention and popularity in both Japanese and eventually American arcades due to its unique gameplay and music. With that in mind, Konami decided to continue the series, and DDR's second mix was released on January 29, 1999. In this time, Naoki would now have the title as Sound Producer. Some notable songs that Naoki composed in the second mix include AM3P as his alias KTZ, Brilliant to You under the alias Naoki, and Keep On Moving as NMR. During that same year, Naoki would also help contribute music to Dance Dance Revolution solo bass and his second release, Solo 2000. Although the six-panel spin-off series lasted for only two games, Naoki was able to use the series again to show his incredible music caliber and most notably creating the fastest song in DDR at the time, Dropout, as his Elias NW260. Another important event would happen again for Naoki in 1999, as it was a year in which the first time ever he would compose music for a Bimani series outside of DDR by contributing to the first release of Guitar Freaks and Drum Mania, with his songs Hypnotica for Guitar Freaks and When I Dream of You for Drum Mania. And in the year 2000, Naoki would also help contribute songs to the very shortly lived Dance Maniac series. Naoki helped provide many Konami original songs for the game, and even made some remixes of his own songs to help spice the music list up. Continuing on his train of cameos, Naoki would even make an appearance in the Beat Mania series with the release of Beat Mania 6 Mix, the UK underground music in 2001 by releasing a remix of his song Hysteria called Hysteria 2001. Naoki didn't just stop here however, as he would continue to contribute to the Beat Mania series for a whopping 17 mixes, all the way up to 2DX19 Linkle, showing that his dedication to Beat goes beyond just DDR. Now going back to DDR, as much as I love to go through every mix and list of all Naoki's songs, the video would become rather boring and long, so instead, I'd like to focus on a trend Naoki started with his most notable songs. When Naoki released Paranoia, he would go on to create remixes of his own songs which would be released throughout multiple mixes of DDR. Naoki's remixes included Paranoia Max 30 mix as the Elias 190, Paranoia Rebirth as 190 with an apostrophe, Paranoia Evolution as 200, and lastly, Paranoia Survivor as 270 and Survivor Max as 290. Eventually, other Bimani artists would also begin to create remixes of Paranoia. Some of these include 2MB aka Yuichi Asami's KCET remix, June's infamous Hades, and lastly, Tag's Revolution. After Paranoia, Naoki would continue this trend of remixes made by himself and others on more of his songs. This would inspire other Bimani artists to start doing the same with their own songs, leading to some song series that are well known among Bimani fans today. Going back to 2001, DDR Max would be released and Naoki would arguably create his most iconic song, Max 300. 
Max 300 is famous for being the hardest song in the game at the time, and would be the first in the challenging Max series of songs. In the same year of DDR Max's release, Naoki would do something really different from his usual music production, and created the J-pop idol group known as B4U. B4U would be the first idol group to contribute songs for multiple DDR releases, including some console versions, for 2DX, and even for some Guitar Freaks and Draw Mania releases. However, B4U would sadly disband in 2009 after several member changes, and many of the songs would be removed from the Duhani lineup. But Naoki didn't just stop at B4U. In 2002, Naoki had formed a two-person group called Terra, consisting of himself and Jun, aka Junko Karashima. For over 10 years, both Naoki and Jun would create iconic songs for nearly every Bimani series since their debut. With Terra, B4U, and the sound producer for 12 arcade mixes, it seemed like Naoki wasn't really going anywhere with this much dedication already. However, in 2009, after the release of DDR-X, Naoki decided to step down from his role as sound producer for the arcade releases. Instead, he would move on to become the sound producer for the console version of the DDR, and even became a head producer for one of the releases. Aside from his work on console, Naoki would go on to achieve one of his biggest accomplishments by creating a game called Dance Evolution for the Xbox 360. Dance Evo was known to be the first Bimani game to utilize the Xbox Kinect, and having a rather awkward introduction during E3, but let's not get into that. About two years after its release, Dance Evo would receive an arcade cabinet, but as of 2016, the series would sadly remain inactive and presumably abandoned by Konami. About a year after Dance Evo's arcade release, things would take a different turn for the world of Bimani. After 15 years of service, Naoki decided to leave Konami in 2013. Following his departure, he eventually go on to join Capcom to serve as a producer for their new upcoming mobile rhythm game, Crossbeats. Naoki himself and even Terra will contribute many songs to the series, and the game will receive an arcade edition in 2015 and 2016. Unfortunately, in 2018, Capcom ended an online service for all Crossbeats cabs in his decision to end the series due to its lack of popularity in arcades. Since then, Naoki has gone on to create his indie game studio called Unlimited Studio, where he's currently working on a mobile puzzle rhythm game called Seven's Code. No word has been set on the game's exact release date yet, but as of August 2019, Naoki announced that it'd be released within this year, and it's definitely a game to be hyped about. Regardless of where he worked, Naoki has consistently shown his outstanding dedication to the genre of rhythm games. Without his contributions, DDR would have never reached the level of success it has seen up to today, and innovative rhythm games like Dance Evo would have never seen the light of day. Naoki has demonstrated what it means to go above and beyond as a composer and producer. He is a trendsetter, and lastly, a pioneer to the music that makes up the world of rhythm games today. So the next time you play DDR or see that lonely crossbeats cat, make sure to play one of his songs. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to keep on moving.